hi welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be just today we're gonna be doing something really fun we're gonna be painting a tote bag right here i'm gonna paint a little graphic thingy um i'll put a picture of what i want to paint the first thing i'm gonna do is try to pencil in my design and then get to it i'm gonna set up my tripod so you can see me working as i'm working you know i think i'm going to do a little time lapse maybe of me drawing it out i don't know how long it'll take i will be working right here on my desk and then here i have my graphic pulled up just for reference um but i'm gonna set up my tripod to you i'm gonna try my best to set it up so that you can see what i am doing <laughs> this part of the bag done just penciling out what i wanted and it was actually easier than i thought it was going to be i'm no artist so there's obviously some mistakes and some stuff i'm gonna have to fix when i'm going into paint also ignore my nail i'm gonna hide it because it's so ugly but yeah since the bottom part of the bag is blue and the handles are blue i'm gonna use blue i think for the lettering and then like a green for the um surrounding space these are the two fabric paints I was thinking of using. Um, I just got these in bulk off of Amazon. I got a lot, but I haven't used them, so I thought this would be good. The blue is a shade Brilliant Blue, and then the green is Fresh Foliage. Um, but I want to do the background green and the lettering blue. Okay, so I actually inserted a piece of cardboard into the tote bag because, I don't know, that's what I've seen people do. It's not that big, so it just covers like right the graphic entirely. I have like a plastic plate where I will put a little bit of my colors. Um, and I couldn't find a paintbrush. I am using this little eyeliner brush. I already have some that I don't really use, so I figured a small brush is best to get in between like, to do like the lettering and whatever. But this is what I'm working with. Um, I did find some old paintbrushes, but they're like covered in like old paint, so they're like hard and I don't think they're going to be helpful. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I finished up what I think is the first layer of blue. I'm gonna go in again with another layer over the lettering. Um, but I actually really like the way that it looks, so I do not think I'm gonna be adding the green. So I'm just gonna do another layer of blue and we will see what it looks like. completely finished the bag I'm gonna go in with an eraser and erase the pencil lining that I was gonna originally do in the green but for some reason I don't know what this is these two letters I use the exact same paint as you can tell from the video but these two letters in person I don't know if it tells you can tell so much on camera but in person these are like a different shade like this is more like an indigo and these are like blue so I don't know once again I am no artist all right, so I am done painting my tote bag. Um, erasing is a little difficult, but honestly, I don't really care. This came out a lot better than I thought. This is not a tutorial by any means because I'm not an artist, but I will link down below um, the graphic that inspired this that I based it off of. I recommend that you go through Pinterest and you look at different designs and graphics and whatever and then you pick one that you like best freehand draw it and then paint i also think using fabric paint is best because that's what it's made for if you use like acrylic it'll chip off eventually um but that is it for the bag thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed but yeah that is it thank you bye oh also wait subscribe because why not? Just subscribe. Um, oh, my hair is a mess. Subscribe because I like making YouTube videos and you like watching them. But yeah, that is it. That is all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching any other videos on my channel. And that is it. Bye.